allowed them to. And just having that crowd behind them, having the city behind them, Miami, you know, I'm from there, so I know how it is. So when you have that crowd behind you, it's hard to beat that type of team. Does it matter who's at quarterback with this team? I mean, they said that uh, it's going to be Brock Osweiler because Tannehill's out already. I mean, how does that help you guys? How does it hurt you guys? Um, I think it doesn't make no difference. Both of them are good quarterbacks, and Brock's a good quarterback. He's been around the league and been in different systems, and he had to be well. He had to be comfortable to come to this team to be in this system, and he did a great job last week. So it, it wouldn't really make no difference either one of them was starting. They still got to run the same scheme. Uh, said he was sort of assuming it would be Brock anyways. I don't know how you guys were. Did you have that, that sort of inkling that it was going to be him anyways, given the injury that Tannehill was dealing with? I ain't really care which one it was. No. To be truthful, I really didn't care who it was. At the end of the day, like I said, the head coach is the play caller. At the same time, I got I got to play against a good quarterback, but at the same time, I got to pay attention to who the play caller is. You know, he has a good quarterback and a, a good able one that's athletic, that has an arm and has all the weapons. So it really didn't make me no different who's that quarterback back there. Tampa Hill is a little more athletic. That doesn't you know, impact what you do in front of all. So you're, saying, so you're saying Brock not as I'm athletic not, as Tannehill? Not, maybe not as athletic as Tannehill. No? No? Am I wrong? I don't know. Maybe. I say I, I, I go with Brock. You would. I, I say Brock's a little more athletic. I might be wrong. I might need to look at more film. I haven't been looking at the Dolphins like that but until now. And I haven't played them like a lot throughout my career. But I thought Brock would be more athletic. But you, okay. you may be right. I'm, I got to go and look at my film a little no, bit more. I got to go back to the bag. <laughs> I just thought they did more of the read option with Tannehill. So maybe. So that, that's why you consider him more of athletic. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Yeah. What about getting down there in the heat? Uh, you, you're from there, so you know where you've been there, down there, so you know what it's like coming down there to play. Oh, the heat don't bother me. Yeah. I love the heat, but the fun, the crazy thing about it, like I told the guys today, I like the cold more than the heat. But going down there, you just, we just got to be mentally tough. As I've seen on film with a lot of teams, a lot of teams we got down there, played them around that 1 o'clock hour, and that's the highest peak. That sun is up, and... When they get around the third and fourth quarter, that's the team that can explode at any given moment if you don't shut them down. And plus, that heat will jump on your back. And next thing you know, your mind go from the game to the heat. And we don't need that right now. Hey, uh, we're just talking with Glover a little bit about how you know this team feels coming out of the bye, I guess. You know, you got 11 games in front of you. How far away does week one seem right now? And, and why are you confident that this is the team that you know beat New England and Green Bay and not the team that you know had some of those, those inconsistencies early on? I ain't big on looking at it in the past. I'm only big looking at what's in ahead of us and just seeing the mood of everybody coming back in here ready to, to practice, ready to execute, sitting down, talking to Matt Patricia a little bit more, uh, picking the brains of different guys, me, myself, talking to a lot of the uh, safeties in the back end to help me with certain things and talking to our linebackers, the, the communication and getting a lot of a lot better. A lot of guys stand out to practice, doing a, j just doing more than what's asked of them, and that's that's a plus. But I feel I feel great about this team. I feel a lot different from like you're saying from week one to now. I feel real positive about this team, so I'm ready to go and take them 11 weeks on. What is it? What is it that gives you that confidence that makes you feel so? Well? It's just the vibe, the energy. It's, that's something I can't really explain. It's just the energy and the vibe, and just seeing the work outside and people enjoying themselves, people running to the ball, people making plays, do, just just doing what they love to do. You see the passion, you see the love in people's eyes now since we back. The vibe was much needed, but j just to see everybody come back with that, like that pep in their step, I just hope that we can keep that and just just run it out for for 11 straight weeks to, to see what we get out of it.